Yep, it seems I was correct when I predicted SpaceX will attempt to test Starship SN9 on 29th or 30th of December. If you watched recent SpaceX Starship SN8 test, Elon Musk hoped to repeat similar tests with Starship SN9. This was before Starship experienced a slight mishap. Wanted to release another video today, but this video in question is quite long with a great deal of information and it will require more time to complete. So I proceeded to work on this video instead, as it is update regarding Starship SN9 and what lies ahead for Starship program in coming weeks and months. Okay, we need a short recap of events that took place in past few weeks. SpaceX Starship SN8 performed a 12.5 km flight test, which proved to have been a massive success. Powered by only three Raptor rocket engines, SpaceX 50 meter tall Starship climbed over Boca Chica complex, reaching 12.5 km. It took Starship only 2-3 minutes to reach desired altitude. However, agonizing few minutes upon reaching 12.5 km, Starship performed a critical maneuvering test using frictional control thrusters to perform a belly flop so the vehicle can return and hopefully land on a landing pad 12.5 km below. Starship descended towards the Earth at 70 degree angle and it seemed as if Starship was gliding as it neared its landing pad. This maneuver is critical for Starship's returning from orbit both to bleed off velocity as well as to ensure its reusability without a massive heat shield. Interestingly, SpaceX is installing heat sheet tiles on SN9, indicating Starship SN9 flight test might be 22 km test, nearly 10 km more than Starship SN8. Nearly 10 km more than Starship SN8. Fuel starvation to Raptor rocket engines most likely caused Starship SN8 hard landing. Insufficient amount of fuel in header tank and feed pipes were unable to maintain pressure needed to feed Raptor with enough propellant, resulting in fuel starvation as Starship was approaching to land. A lack of fuel and surplus of oxygen effectively turned the landing engine into a giant oxygen torch melting the copper walls of its combustion chamber, hence the green plume. Had the header tank maintained the correct pressure, Starship SN8 would have very likely landed intact, or at least had much softer landing. SpaceX learned a valuable lesson from this, and changes will be implemented on subsequent Starships. Starship SN8 flight test was a massive success. SpaceX wouldn't be rolling out Starship SN9 if they weren't confident in what they've achieved in past few days, weeks. SN8 flight test showcased SpaceX engineering talent and ability to quickly adapt, which brings me to the Starship SN9. SpaceX was so eager to test Starship SN9 and they even planned to roll out and flight test Starship SN9 in the following week, most likely on the 17th of December, or on the weekend that week. Sadly, a major mishap happened before that with Starship SN9, which lost balance inside High Bay and was leaning against the wall of High Bay. Flat wings or canard wings on one side of the Starship were damaged as a result. SpaceX corrected leaning Starship brought it out of the high bay and within a few days replaced both flap canard wings by cannibalizing parts from the Starship SN10. This brings us to a current situation. On Tuesday, SpaceX started to move Starship SN9 for extensive testing to launch pad B at Boca Chica. This is what happened on 22nd. Not sure SpaceX will attempt any static test before 28th, as it's too close to the Christmas and holidays. As this video will be out before SpaceX starts any testing, it's only speculation on my part here. But I think SpaceX will start testing Starship on 28th, with aim to have a flight test on the 30th, if possible, just before New Year's Eve. To make it one truly spectacular event, something no doubt would steal all the headlines worldwide. However, I think team that works on Starship needs a few days rest 
so 31st of December and few following days won't see much action. If SpaceX doesn't get the green light to perform high altitude tests on the 30th, which could happen, SpaceX will then be performing a Starship high altitude test in a week starting on the 4th, with weekend starting on the 8th looking very tempting for SpaceX to attempt high altitude tests with Starship SN9. SpaceX is rolling new Starship at industrial rate at its Boca Chica facility, with work on Starship SN14 about to commence. A high production rate enables SpaceX engineers to build multiple prototypes of Starship simultaneously, with eight Starships currently under construction, with parts for Starship SN17 already spotted by local resident Maria, or Boca Chica Gal. The hybrid production will only help SpaceX to increase testing rate, and if SpaceX wishes to achieve quite tight goals which are manned landing on a Mars by 2026, as well as a number of other programs for NASA which also includes demonstration of orbital refueling in late 2022. Elon Musk said he expects the first Starship prototype to attempt high orbit will be around SN15 or mid-teens. At this rate, Starship SN15 could be ready by March, with very good chance of orbital flight in April or May 2021. Back to Starship SN9. So, what we know right now is that SpaceX has rolled out Starship SN9 to the launch pad B, with aims to perform a number of technical tests in coming days. SpaceX team will perform a series of pre-flight preparations to assess if Starship SN9 vehicle is ready to be launched. The first set of tests are expected to be proof tests performed with ultra-cooled liquid nitrogen that will pressurize the stainless steel, which will assess its overall structural integrity. If Starship SN9 passes the proof test, engineers will move on to test its Raptor engine trio during static fire test. A static fire is also a routine pre-flight preparation meant to assess each engine's performance ahead of flight. According to Cameron County Boca Chica road closure announcements, SpaceX could start performing work on Starship SN9 vehicle from December 28th onwards to December 30th, with potential flight just before New Year's Eve. However, this does not preclude SpaceX from attempting the very last test flight this year. However, this is less likely due to the obvious reasons. Pre-flight tests could clear Starship for December 30th flight attempt, but I'm somewhat unsure SpaceX will try to push Starship until they are quite certain things are really in place for another flight test. SpaceX has installed heat shield tiles on Starship SN9, indicating to me at least, SpaceX will attempt high altitude tests beyond 12.5 km. Perhaps 22 km altitude will be attempted. With aim to get some friction on the tiles, the result from this test should give SpaceX an idea what sort of temperature Starship will be exposed in atmospheric re-entry. Due to the sheer size of the Starship, some 50 meters across, there is more surface area on Starship that will come in contact with the atmosphere. Therefore, more friction, and more friction equals more heat across larger area of the Starship. In coming weeks, in months, SpaceX will continue to work on Starship program, improving Starship design ever slightly with improved manufacturing and more importantly increased efficiency and lower cost of production. SpaceX has thought of eight Starships currently under construction and booster N1, also known as Super Heavy. SpaceX will continue to test Starships at increasing rate till they meet number of certified tests required by NASA but also SpaceX itself which may include up to 20 Starship flight tests in 2021 alone. Orbital tests are currently not possible, but SpaceX is currently constructing orbital launch pad, which should be completed by April in time for Super Heavy BN1, which is also under construction. 
However, before SpaceX can perform orbital flight tests, Super Heavy will also need to undergo extensive testing, which could take another five to seven months. So chances of orbital flight test in 2021 doesn't look good, but could happen if Super Heavy performs above expectation in all its flights and system tests. SpaceX will need a number of Super Heavy boosters to perform a series of tests, first of which should perform flight tests in early April. However, as I'm working on a separate SpaceX video which looks at this particular question and many more, I'll end here. I'm working on another lengthy video looking at the planetary habitability. The video is looking at what makes a planet suitable for life. By the way, if you like this video, please press like, share this video and consider subscribing. Thank you. Happy holidays, everyone. If you celebrate Christmas, then Merry Christmas. I'm an atheist, but I do celebrate Christmas and put up a nice Christmas tree. Often I'd have friends come around for Christmas and New Year. However, this isn't possible this year due to obvious reasons. I really wish you all the best for these holidays. Happiness and joy in coming year. Please, please stay safe. Happy winter sources for all who do not celebrate Christmas and Happy New Year to you all. Thank you for watching and please subscribe. You can also follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Links in the description. By the way, before you go, please check out my friend's YouTube channel, Spaceship Mania. He makes these awesome models of Starship, which you can buy at his shop. Also consider subscribing to his channel, helping him reach even greater audience. Thank you very much.